Hi students, today we are going to see about satellite communication. Okay, so introduction about satellite communication. First of all, what is satellite? So, satellite means the object revolves around the earth. Okay, or uh, an object revolves around some other object that is satellite. Okay, so here satellite means the object revolves around the earth okay a natural satellite means uh, moon okay and also now nowadays we are having many satellites revolving around the earth we all know that and next communication what is communication that is exchange of information right so we are exchanging information through some medium right through some medium so in satellite communication we exchange the information through the wireless medium that is communication so satellite means an object revolves around the earth and communication means exchanging information through some medium so now what is satellite communication it is a communication between two earth station through satellite okay so in between uh, earth station to earth station if you want to exchange information means we have to communicate through the satellite okay this is the basic diagram for satellite communication this is consider this as earth station 1 and consider this as earth station 2 okay so from earth station if if the earth station 1 and the earth station 2 want to communicate means the earth station 1 will send the information to satellite that is called uplink okay when the signal or when the information reaches the satellite the satellite sends this information to a particular earth station 2 okay that is called downlink okay so the information from earth station 1 to satellite from ground to satellite means that is called uplink and from satellite to downlink is called sorry satellite to earth station is called downlink okay and here when the signal transmits from earth station 1 to satellite it uses uplink frequency frequency called uplink frequency and for uh, transmitting signal from satellite to earth station it uses the downlink frequency so here both the frequencies are not same for the communication okay so consider f1 as the uplink frequency that is frequency used from used while earth station uh, communicate earth station send the signal to the satellite okay that is uplink by using uplink frequency Consider F2 as downlink frequency, that is when the signal transmitted from satellite to earth station, that is downlink frequency. Both frequency will not be same while transmitting and receiving the signal. Okay. Then, so here for uplink uh, bands, uplink frequency. They, we are using different uh, frequency bands that is for C band they are using 6 gigahertz then Q band they are using 14 gigahertz K band they are using 30 gigahertz okay and for downlink frequency for C band for Q band for K band they are using different frequencies okay so for example if they are using C band uh, what is the uplink frequency that is 6 gigahertz then for downlink what is uh, c band that is 4 gigahertz okay so 6 by 4 gigahertz they are using okay so 6 by 4 the, if the satellite is using 6 by 4 gigahertz means 6 is the uplink frequency and 4 is the downlink frequency that is called 6 by 4 gigahertz okay so here uh, in satellite communication the first satellite launched is Sputnik 1 that is called Sputnik 1 satellite which is launched in 1957 okay uh, our India launched the satellite called Arya Bata that is in launched in 1975 okay and uh, we will see the block diagram of satellite communication this is the basic block diagram of satellite communication 
so here uh, from user one of the user from earth station one this is consider this is earth station one from earth station one user is transmitting a signal to terrestrial system and then to earth station okay these are earth station segment so that is ground segment okay ground segment so user sends the signal to terrestrial system then terrestrial system to earth station this earth station uses some antenna to transmit the signal to satellite okay so from earth station to satellite what is called that is called uplink okay when the signal received received by satellite this satellite will do further process and transmits the signal to the other earth station that is called downlink so here from this earth station when the signal goes to satellite that is called uplink then from satellite to this earth station that is called downlink okay so this earth station receives the signal by using some antenna and then the signal is forwarded to terrestrial system and then it is sent to the particular user this is the basic block diagram of satellite communication okay then basically uh, so here in uh, satellite communication we are having two segments space segments and the ground segment okay so space segment includes uh, sorry ground station includes earth station user terminal interface transmitter and receiver equipment and antenna systems okay and the space segment includes satellite communication transponder power system and launch vehicle okay these are the two segments used in satellite communication space segment and ground segment so ground segment this these are ground segments so what are the ground segment includes earth station terrestrial system that is term terrestrial interface then transmitter and receiver equipments and also some antenna systems okay so here it earth station uses dish antenna it uses dish antenna and in ground system sorry in space segment it it has this is space segment so it has satellite in the satellite uh, it uses transponder power system and the launch vehicle okay these are the two systems in satellite communication then so when the signal goes to the satellite from earth station to satellite uh, the satellite uses the transponder every satellite consists of transponder so transponder in transponder it contains radio receiver that is it receives the signal from the earth station and then it amplifies the signal and then transmit to the another earth station okay so here amplifier amplifies the incoming signal and uh, changes its frequency for downlink okay as i said earlier if it is if satellite is using 6 by 4 gigahertz when the transmitter that is when uh, earth station sends the signal to the satellite it uses 6 gigahertz and when it reaches the satellite this sa in satellite it contains transponder right so transponder will changes the signal frequency of the signal to 4 gigahertz and then transmit to the other earth station okay this is the uh, purpose of transponder and then so here in this basic block diagram first of all user it generates the baseband signal it sends the baseband baseband signal to the terrestrial network okay so terrestrial network uh, nothing but Uh, it, it will be a telephone switch or dedicated link to the earth station for further process okay so that si baseband signal will be given to the earth station and then earth station uses dish antenna to transmit the signal to the satellite okay so in satellite uh, transponder acts as the repeater that is it increases the strength of the received signal it works as a uh transponder okay as i said uh, it amplifies the signal and transmits the signal it changes the frequency okay 
so here when the um, the satellite receives that signal it changes the frequency and send it to the other earth station okay and then this is the uh, block diagram of earth station transmitter okay in transmitter side earth station contains uh, encoder modulator up converter high power amplifier and then it gives to antenna okay so uh, first uh, from user we will get the baseband signal and th this baseband signal is given to the earth station right so this signal encodes the signal into data streams and then it gives the gives to the modulator what is the purpose of modulator it uh, uh, gives the carrier signal the signal with carrier sig modulates the signal with the carrier signal and then it gives the up converter we all know the types of modulator they use uh, frequency shift keying phase shift keying quadrature uh, phase shift keying okay these are some uh, types of mod modulation techniques so by these modulator modulation techniques they you they modulate this signal and then gives to the up converter so up converter what the up converter will do if the satellite frequency range of the satellite is 6 as i said 6 by 4 gigahertz means it uh, boost up the uh, signal boost up the baseband signal to 6 gigahertz okay then it gives to the power amplifier strengthens the signal and then gives to the antenna dish antenna so this dish antenna transmits the signal to the satellite okay by with the frequency of 6 gigahertz okay then this is the earth station receiver okay when it goes to the satellite through antenna what it happens as i said earlier in satellite they are having transponder what the transponder will do it receives the signal amplifies the signal changes the frequency uh, into for example it converts the signal into 4 gigahertz right so it converts the signal into 4 gigahertz and uh, transmits to the earth station of the receiver side okay so the earth station of the receiver receives that signal from satellite through this dish antenna then it passes to the low noise amplifier it removes any noises and amplifies the signal and down converts the signal to 4 gigahertz and then it uh, demodulates the signal with the original baseband signal reassembles the uh, data stream then demodulates sorry it demodulates the signal with carrier frequency and then it decodes the signal with the original data and we will get the baseband original baseband signal in the receiver side user we will get the original baseband signal this is the block diagram of earth station receiver okay so here uh, satellite communication satellite means Uh, what is satellite an object revolving around other object so natural satellite is example moon okay communication exchanging the information through some media so satellite communication exchanging information between earth station through some satellite okay so from earth station to satellite it is called as uplink then for uh, from satellite to earth station it is called downlink they are using the different frequency to transmit and receive the signal okay then we have seen the block diagram basic block diagram of satellite communication from user user to terrestrial system and then to earth station and then to satellite okay then from satellite to another earth station then to terrestrial system and to user so it contains two segments space segment and the ground segment in satellite they are having transponders and um, user generates the baseband signal and gives to the uh, earth station and then earth station gives the signal through dish antenna to satellite and then satellite transmits satellite do all the conversion process and then send the signal to the earth station to the earth station will uh, gives the signal to particular user okay these are about the basic block diagram of satellite communication Hope you all understand this topic. Thank you.